Welcome to Hypnosis Theater. Hey everybody, it's the Aural Retentive with another episode of Hypnosis Theater. This is Hypnosis Theater number two. And uh, I went specifically for an album today because I wanted to give you kind of the flip side of the Alan Parsons Project, which was like, meh, um, with an album that I thought was pretty good. You know, not, you know, the old classic fragment, right? But a surprisingly good album from a band that I had never heard of, so I thought I would share it with you guys um, to see if you had heard of it, uh, and possibly you might want to check it out. Um, so the the uh, the band's name is Hydra, and you can sort of a uh, looks like coins on edge, kind of spelling out the spelling out the name. And it's like that on the back cover as well. So this is Hydra, Land of Money. So to be to be completely fair, um, I picked this one up uh, in a batch of other things that I had picked up that were definitely um, British, you know, uh, and s had a certain sound. So it's kind of what I was, was expecting when I put this on, and I was kind of blown away. <laughs> uh, this is. Uh, Southern Rock, uh, kind of think uh, Molly Hatchet-esque, almost. Um, this is from 1975. Uh, four guys in the band. We got Wayne Bruce uh, doing vocals, rhythm, six and twelve string guitars, acoustic guitar, and then Spencer Kirkpatrick, lead and slide guitar, six and twelve string acoustic guitars, and then Orville Davis with bass and Steve uh, Steve Page with drums. So I had to do a little research on this band, and they made uh, three albums. Uh, this is the second one. After the third one, they broke up, and then they did like one live album, like you know, 32 years later. <laughs> um, but essentially, they had three albums, of which this is, this is the second one. Um, so, like I said, I had I had no idea what this would be like, and I was very pleasantly surprised. Um, so, and uh, for those of you that watched my first episode, I have learned a few things, like how to leave a good gap where I'm going to be putting in my little title card, right? <laughs> so now, for the proof. Um, there's actually two credits in here, and I, there's no way this is going to be, you're going to be able to see this. But it says, Cover Design by Hypnosis. And then, uh, Group Photograph by Hypnosis. Yeah, that's never going to focus. should probably figure out a different way to do that. Maybe I should take pictures of it. Does anybody care that much? Probably not. Um... And if we go to the book, uh, uh, here it is over here, Land of Money, um, 1975 and Capricorn Records, Photography by A. Powell with B or H. Bartrop. So that's the proof. Uh, and now to the tracks. Um, so on the Alan Parsons album, I kind of gave some needle drops, uh, you know, I, like here's the song that's really good that everybody would know, did a needle drop on that, I did some needle drops on some tracks that I thought kind of pointed out some of the flaws maybe of the album. Uh, <laughs> this one, we're just going to go straight through. I have to say there is one sort of eh, kind of middle of the road track and then the very last track uh, Take Me For My Music which was written by someone else uh, is again you know I'm like I don't know why but I really want a punchy you know go out with a bang kind of track and that it definitely is not one of them but so here we go uh, 
see if we can, I don't know if you're going to be able to read that or focus. That's a track list. So side one, uh, right away, the first track just really grabbed me, right? Uh, it's Little Miss Rock and Roll. second track I think is equally strong uh, and it's called The Pistol. Track number three is uh, Making Plans. Now this track uh, slows down a bit. Uh, it's not bad, but in comparison with the first and second track, it's a little weaker, I guess I would say. Then they row, they bring it on home with the title track, "Land of Money" for track number four. Um, yeah, this one is. It's uh, let me see. It's longer. It's a longer track. It's like let me see. It's six minutes thirty seconds. So it's a bit longer, um, but good stuff. So then we get to side two. And side two starts off with Get Back to the City. Uh, again, this track is a, a good lead off on side two and uh, has some really great moments in it. Then don't let the time pass you by, you know, uh, a little on the slower side, um, but still good. So as I listen to this, you know, I, I keep, kept thinking of Molly Hatchet. Um, 
from Leonard Skinner a bit. Um, I don't know. I think I think if they could have uh, brought out the vocals a bit more, um, I it would have been even better. Um, it's good though. track let the show go on followed by the track Slow and Easy, which I thought was really good. Now this is one of the only two tracks on the album that was not written um, by the band. This is written by uh, the vocalist and then someone else that isn't in the band, so I, don't, I have no idea. But it's uh, Slow and Easy and has a really nice tight groove. And then lastly, unfortunately, <laughs> written by someone else, uh, is the song Take Me For My Music, um, you know, which, <laughs> if, you listen to the, if you listen to the lyrics, uh, it makes me sad that I <laughs> don't like it, but uh, it's a little too slow for my taste. Um, I mean, it's not a bad song, but it's just... You know, compared to the just way it burns through side one, and you're, you know, I loved every track, and even side two, you know, all but like one, um, you know, was right up there for me, and then you get "Take Me From My Music" at the end, which <laughs> it's not terrible, but you know, it doesn't really fit with the rest of the songs in the album. So there you have it, uh, Land of Money. Uh, like I say, I was really pleasantly surprised by this because I had no idea what it was going to be. And frankly, uh, I, I, I only, well, I would say that I've listened to the majority 
either through Spotify or, or YouTube or somewhere, the albums, uh, the Hypnosis albums, right? And uh, I think this is one of the few kind of Southern rock albums that they did. I mean, you got Bad Company, that's kind of, you know, not Southern rock really, but it's close. That's kind of what I think of. This is kind of like uh, Bad Company meets Leonard Skinner <laughs> with a little Molly Hatchet thrown in. That's kind of what I think about it. So, anyway. Um, so, I won't do this for every video, but again, a, uh, a review of the rankings uh, for the art and for the music. Um, so, for Hydra Land of Money, I kind of really. Uh, I kind of really hemmed and hawed because, you know, this is not like, uh, what do I want to say? There's nothing, it's just a picture, really. I mean, right, there's, they didn't set up anything weird in it, you know, on that. But, by the same token, um, I, I looked in the, I, you know, it's not like, really? I mean, it's a hypnosis cover, it's very distinct, right? So... Anyway, I gave it average. Uh, and for the music, you know, Heavy Rotation, yeah, I probably won't play this, you know, on Heavy Rotation, but I think it's really good. So I gave it the ranking of um, three average for the art and uh, three good for the music. I recommend this. I mean, I think you would, you would dig it. Um, you know, not as, uh, you're not going to go out and buy the MoFi version of this. But it's good for a spin, you know, looking for something to play in the afternoon. Here you go. So that's it for Hypnosis Theater number two, Hydra Land of Money. Let me know what you think. All right. Talk to you later.